Syrian rebels seized a government tank recently and turned its gun against President Bashar al-Assad's troops. Can an untrained person operate a tank? Yes, but it's not easy. Learning to drive a tank without instruction requires some patience and lucky guessing. The control panel features hundreds of switches, dials, and levers that operate the engines, guns, communications, electronics, fire suppressants, and gyroscopes. Most have abbreviated labels that would make it difficult to locate even the switch that turns on the engines and the stick that puts it into gear. Releasing the brake can be tricky too, as many models require the driver to depress the pedal and pull a lever simultaneously. Once the user has accomplished those threshold tasks, driving the tank is relatively intuitive. The brake pedal and the accelerator work the same as in a car. Newer tanks steer with airplane-style yokes, while older models have two levers. Pulling back on the right lever slows the right track, which swings the tank to the right, while the left lever does the same for the left track. Newer tanks have automatic transmissions, but older models require shifting, and some have three clutch pedals. Beginners often drive with their heads sticking out of the hatch, but in combat, drivers must use vision blocks or periscopes. Tanks can top 60 miles per hour on a flat surface, but it's safer to move slowly on rough terrain, and in deep mud they can bottom out, with the body contacting the ground while the tracks spin. Operating the gun has the same issues as driving. There are many switches to rotate the turret and control electronics, and it's not obvious which button actually fires the weapon. If you hit them all though, you'll probably find out eventually, just hope it doesn't backfire.